Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, a very, very warm welcome to you. So if you are a regular viewer of mine, you will recognize that I am in a little bit of a different environment. <laughs> I am currently in Canberra. I'm performing in the orchestra for the West Side Story season that's on here at the moment. I'm just about to head home in about three days, which I'm really excited. I'm so keen to get back to Melbourne. I miss my apartment. I miss my husband. I miss my plants. I miss my friends. I'm just so keen to get back into like normal life but like what is normal I realized in the last four months I've spent a maximum of about six weeks in my apartment which is nuts I've just traveled so much and it's all just been because of music opportunities which is amazing it does sometimes though make filming like my YouTube videos a little bit more difficult this place that I'm staying in doesn't have the best lighting I'm working with what I've got I'm just using a little mini like ring light thing on my camera um, that I brought with me thankfully uh, and the natural lighting as much as I can get because there's hardly any natural light in this apartment this is what we're working with but it is a kind of more chilled video so I figured it wouldn't really matter too much anyway so yeah I will be today going through and reviewing the makeup that I brought with me in my travel makeup bag I actually got this idea from my beautiful friend here on YouTube, Lauren May Beauty. I'll have her channel linked below as well as the video that inspired this one. About a week ago she did a video of like makeup I actually used while on vacation. So she basically reviewed her travel makeup bag and said like what she did use, what she didn't use and her thoughts on the products and I thought that was such a genius idea. And I was umming and ahhing about what to do for my last video here because I did need to film just one more. I've got no more like pre-recorded material. And I really want to have a video up for the day you are seeing this video and I couldn't really wait until I get home. So I thought this is perfect. Over the last few months since I've been traveling a lot, I've done a lot of like travel makeup bag videos, but they've all just been like get ready with me. My next video is obviously my monthly favorites, which I kind of do a little bit in like a get ready with me style. Like I tend to put products on. So I kind of didn't want to double up in that way. So this kind of reviewing my makeup bag at the end of my trip makes so much sense like I've been here for three weeks and I definitely know what I've used what was worth bringing I think I pack quite conservatively with makeup I've seen some people's like travel makeup bag videos here in the beauty sphere and they're like bring like five palettes or something and I'm just like that's so much um but I tend to bring one or two of everything apart from eyeshadows I did bring a few but I use singles so I think that kind of doesn't count because I, if I wasn't going to bring singles with me I would bring a palette so all of my makeup fits in here inside this little makeup bag and it's got like a little hook thing so you can like hook it up on like a door and just access it that way I really love that feature. This one's from YesStyle. I have it linked below for you. I've got one in grey as well. So then my brush bag fits in the top and this is just a little like Inica Organics branded little makeup bag that I got at a PR event. It's like covered in foundation. <laughs> but it's actually a perfect size. It's not very big and it just fits all my brushes really really well. I'm planning to do um, a video on my brushes at some point so I won't go through those because they're my standard ones that I use like every day. But yeah it has like lots of little compartments and things. It's relatively organized. Um, I didn't bother using these top sections this time because I just didn't need to but there's enough room I could have brought even more makeup than I did. So starting out uh, for primer, the primer that I brought along with me this time is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer of all time and this is just a little sample size one that I have but I actually refill it every time I travel with my large squeezy tube you get the best value for money buying the largest size so I buy those squeezy tube ones and then just decant it into here yeah wouldn't travel without this sweet guy I know I'm gonna get a really dead leg because I am sitting on my butt Ooh. And I can already feel it getting like pins and needles. For foundations, I brought, technically I brought a BB cream as well as a foundation. But I can definitely say off the bat I did not need to bring this BB cream. Um, because I've only used it like twice. And I actually didn't enjoy it when I used it. And it's a one that I used to really like. But I think my skin type has kind of changed a bit. So it just doesn't work for me as well anymore. Uh, it's the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. This is in the shade number 13. I really like the shade of it. It does suit me well. But it just doesn't last on my skin. Even with like the hourglass primer underneath and if I set it a bit with powder, it just breaks down and like it like disappears off my face by the end of the day. I do have more sort of normal to oily skin um, and I think when my skin was less oily, it worked much better. And that makes sense because I know my friend here on YouTube, Jessica Braun, loves this product. It's like a holy grail base product and she has dry skin. So that makes sense. Just doesn't last on me um, and I've got products I prefer. So I think I'm probably going to declutter this when I actually get home. I've probably used about a third of it but 
yeah I just didn't enjoy it so I wish I hadn't brought that because it meant that I only then had really one choice to go with the whole time but it is a very good product so I brought along the CYO long lasting life proof foundation in 101 the shade of this is a little bit too olive for me and a touch on the deep side as well so I do mix in a corrector this is the Peri Pera ink corrector it's the lavender color helps to make it a little bit more cool toned and it also lightens it slightly as well because it's quite a sort of brightening sort of lavender color so those two are pretty much what I've been wearing every day it's what I'm wearing on my face today and really really love that combo concealer for concealer I did actually bring two and I kind of forgot that I brought one of them so I haven't actually used it so definitely could have gotten away with just bringing one the one I actually used all the time is the L'Oreal Paris infallible more than concealer this is in the shade fawn 323 which is such a nice color for me it's like it's not too light I actually really don't enjoy concealers anymore that are too light because I find that looks unnatural under my eyes so this works really well it blends with my skin tone you can use it on blemishes as well but thankfully I've been pretty blemish free most of the month here which is amazing but I also brought with me the Glossier stretch concealer in G12 which I was using this heaps before I came away I think I just kind of forgot it was in the bag um, but I haven't really felt like actually wearing much minimal makeup because we're performing pretty much every day here and even though I'm in a pit I could pretty much wear like no makeup if I wanted like no one really sees us except the front row but I don't know it just feels weird to be all dressed up in my concert clothes and not have like a proper face of makeup on so that's I think partly why I also haven't been hunting out a very natural concealer which this Glossier one is because I just haven't really had natural makeup days while I've been here. For powder though I brought a product that I've just absolutely fallen back in love with and rediscovered it's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have a little travel size highly recommend grabbing this if you're keen to try the product before you invest in a big one. I'll probably eventually buy a big size as well just to have at home and keep that one for travel but yeah this product is beautiful it sits so nicely it just doesn't look like powder on your skin so for cheek products I bought a cream and a powder version of everything and for blush I bought one extra cream blush as well so that was confusing but <laughs> Uh, basically for bronzer I bought the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer I have used this but I probably could have left this at home like I've probably reached for the other one a bit more and again that's because I tend to reach for more cream products on slightly more natural makeup days and powder products more when I'm like going a bit more full glam that just seems to be what I do now I don't know um, but I have definitely reached for this about a third of the time and I really love it it's a nice product it's not very travel friendly though because it is quite big but I do really like the product and then the bronzer I brought is inside my favorite little traveling palette for face at the moment it's the hourglass metallic strobe lighting palette was limited edition a while ago but this particular color here um, what's this one called lucent strobe light this is a beautiful bronzer on fair skin and I've just been absolutely loving it like I'm about to hit the waffle pan very sad coincidentally the highlighters in here are also gorgeous you can see I've really hit pan on those um, I tend to mix them together which is why they've kind of panned in the middle there so that was my powder highlight absolutely love this wee guy like I am going to actually use this product up which is kind of amazing but also terribly sad because you cannot buy those products anymore I'm actually feeling so torn because I'm like I love it so I use it and I'll probably use it up but then I won't be able to repurchase it it'll be a sad day and then the cream highlight that I brought was just the little RMS Beauty Living Luminizer definitely could have left this one at home I've reached for it about twice the entire three weeks that I've been here um, and it is lovely but again it's a product I reach for on no makeup makeup days and I haven't really done those so I could have left that one at home for blush as I say I brought a powder blush and then two cream blushes no prizes for guessing what cream blushes they are Arutium sugar ball cushion cheek colors I bought the shades number one and number three so number one is a really beautiful kind of soft pink color that's the one I've probably reached for the least though it is lovely but I just I just haven't found myself reaching for it. I think I've used it about once or twice and then this other one number three I've reached for quite a bit this is more of a sort of peachy color and I think it's because it's spring here I don't know I tend to reach for those warmer kind of nectarine colors in springtime I was reaching for this little guy the Clinique cheek Cheek Pop blush in Pansy Pop which is a really nice kind of almost like lilac-y pink but when it's on the cheeks actually what I'm wearing today it actually just looks like a really really natural flush on me I think it's because I do have that sort of more cooler almost like blue undertone to my skin so when you use something a little bit more lilac-y 
as a blush it kind of tends to give a more sort of natural flushing color rather than a true pink I've really fallen back in love with this color it's been nice I have not actually used powder blushes for a long time so that's why I brought it with me because I was like I need to like branch out a little bit and I'm really pleased I did because it's beautiful um I bought a little mac fix plus which to be honest I have not used this very much I just haven't found that I have been reaching for eyeshadows that really need to be foiled and I have not been setting my face much because I'm just that powder is amazing and doesn't look powder on your skin so I just haven't really been using that could have left you behind okay then we should talk about brows so for brows I brought my archery brow by soap and glory this is in the shade brown this is pretty much what I've used the entire time, mainly because it's still going. <laughs> I would have only brought this with me, but I was worried it would run out. So that's why I brought a backup pencil, but I've not really reached for that because this is still going strong and I really love it. It's a double ended little like pencil on one end and a brush tip pen on the other. And I absolutely love that kind of um, brow sort of application method. So definitely pleased I brought that one with me. But the other pencil I brought just as a backup was one of the Marcel Nano Eyebrow Liners. This is in the shade Fair ash blonde this is a brilliant product but i just didn't really reach for it because i haven't needed to yet it was just my backup <laughs> my two brow gels that i brought with me the 24 hour brow setter by benefit have used this most of the trip probably like two thirds of the time really love that one and then when i want a little bit more of a fluffier brow i was reaching for this one which is the marcel perfect brow in the shade light to medium love this product as well please i brought it even if i just haven't used it as much it's still a fantastic product it's actually what i've got in my brows today all right moving on to eyeshadows as i say i didn't bring a palette with me because i'm just not really into palettes as much as singles right now it's where my heart is so i just bought a bunch of singles with me of course i couldn't come away on a trip without my nars singles probably the one i've used the least is barley and that's because i just haven't really been doing as much sort of heavy makeup look on the eye like I've been keeping it quite light and sort of airy so this is a little bit of a deeper medium brown I just haven't reached for it as much but I still don't regret bringing it because it's always good to have that staple in my collection and I have definitely used it a couple of times just not all the time uh, but on the contrast this shadow Kingston is my favorite sort of blending creasy sort of color transition shade and I've used this every single day so definitely pleased I brought that one. All the other eyeshadows I'm going to talk about are kind of like lid colours, which is what I love to do. Like putting on a really basic sort of taupey shade in the crease and then going in and just playing with my lid colours. For me that is like where my happiness with eyeshadow is at at the moment. So the two NARS ones that I brought were Cashmere and Verona. Cashmere is like a really pretty kind of like taupey kind of colour and Verona has a little bit more of a lilac-y kind of shift to it. They're both really really pretty. Then I brought two of the little mini Stila Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadows which I love these as well. I've got the colours Kitten and Cloud. Kitten is a little bit more of a sort of subtle soft rose gold and Cloud has a little bit more of a lilac-y twist. But also while I was here, I bought another one at Mecca. So if you didn't see my last video where I decided took myself out on a wee date day, you should definitely go watch it. It's a really fun video. But on that little date day, I took myself to Mecca and I purchased this. So this is the color Starlight, which is the lightest kind of color they have. It's like a really nice sort of shimmery beige color. Very, very pleased I got that one. And then I also brought along the Chanel ombre premiere eyeshadow in silver screen this was a limited edition color i believe but you can get like this formula all the time these are really beautiful cream shadows and this color it's probably not my absolute favorite in my collection it has a bit more of an olivey twist to it but i do think it's really beautiful um it just wasn't quite what i expected looking at it kind of in the pot is it how it appears on the eyes but it's beautiful this other product though i only used once and again it was because i was like oh i brought it with me i should use it rather than actually wanting to use it so i didn't need to bring this one but it's the little by terry ombre <laughs> ombre black star cream stick this is in the shade bronze moon it's actually a really pretty color but it's quite deep so it makes quite a sort of bronzy smoky eye when I use it and I've just not been wanting to wear such sort of heavy smoky colors on my eyes at the moment I bought my Quartz Beauty Jade Lashes I've used these ones before so they're like just floating around in there I did not need to bring these I've not worn false lashes the entire time I've been here for liners I've used every single one of these liners they were a good thing to bring I bought two of the Annabelle Waterline matte eyeliners and I love these so the first one is a nude and then the black and these are so great and then of course I always travel with a liquid liner as well and I've actually used this more than I expected because I've not been super into liquid liner over the last few months but I've really enjoyed using it a lot on this trip it's the Dolly Wink black 
liquid liner. This is one of my favorite brush tip liquid liners. It's really, really nice and it's really affordable as well. And then mascaras, I brought three, which you're probably gonna be like, that is too much. Possibly it is, but they all have kind of different purposes. So the first one is my Benefit Roller Lash in the black. So this is my standard black mascara that I'm using at the moment. But then I also wanted to bring a more of a brown mascara for like lighter makeup days. This is probably the product I could have left behind because um, I've definitely worn the black one more, but I am enjoying it. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara and this is in the shade Black Brown. I really like the color of it because it is that kind of deep brown where it kind of looks black on the lashes anyway but is a lot softer on my complexion but I find the brush to be a little bit big so sometimes I smudge it on my sort of lid a bit so it's not like super easy to control and then the last mascara I brought is the Hamish tubing mascara which I use on my bottom lashes exclusively because it doesn't smudge or leave any black marks under my eyes so this is my like little secret mascara that I don't often talk about but use pretty much every day. I also brought my sharpener, which I've used a lot. This is a benefit one. It's got two sizes. Don't travel without this because it's always when you're traveling that you that your eyeliners go blunt or they break and you need to sharpen. So love this. And then we come to lip product, which is often a category I feel like I overpack in and I do think I overpacked <laughs> this time as well. I just kind of panicked when I was packing and just sort of threw everything in. I brought six lip products with me. Actually seven because I have my Glossier Balm.com in my nightstand because that's what I tend to use at night. The first product is one that if you've watched my channel for a long time you'll be really familiar with. It's Max Blankety Lipstick but this is a brand new bullet. Oh so nice. I actually sort of I wouldn't say I fell out of love with this but I just stopped using it as often for like most of this year. I've not really been reaching for it but I brought it on this trip because I thought it might be nice to have like a nude lipstick that isn't a gloss in case it's like windy or I don't know I just felt inclined to bring it and I've used it a lot especially going off to perform we're in the pit as I say so we don't have to look that nice but it does just make me look a bit more put together having a lip color on rather than just a lip balm if I'm in my like concert clothes just for generally walking around I know that seems silly but you just feel so dressy in your clothes so then you kind of need to match it up top as well so I've really been loving this lipstick again I've fallen back in love with it I also brought with me the elf uh, skinny little pencil lipstick thing can't remember the name of this but it's in the shade T rose and this is a bit more of a sort of mauve nude and I do like it but I think I don't actually think I wore it this entire time if I'm really honest, I cannot remember actually wearing this. So I definitely could have left that one at home. I always travel with this next product. It's the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss and Sugar Sugar. This is the kind of the product that like stole my attention away from Mac Blankety. It's like a little makeup mistress. The thing is I still want it on the side. Like I really love this product. It's not, I'm not gonna stop using this just because I've fallen back in love with Mac Blankety. Um, it's just nice to have an, a different option. So when I want a really glossy lip, this is what I go for. If I want more of a satin finish, I'll go for Mac Blankety. I brought this chapstick total hydration lip oil if my lips are not in a good way it's a really good like lip conditioning kind of treatment to put on but then these last two products I've not really used and I couldn't have totally just not brought them the first one I've used once I wore it on opening night for West Side Story it is the Lisa Aldridge velvet lipstick in velvet uh, which one's this one velvet ribbon so it's the bright red love this lipstick so much it's just that the fact that we're in a pit, like we're literally performing under the stage with only a small gap where the audience in the front row can kind of see us. So I don't feel the need to be super glam. So I only wore this on opening night because we had a little function after. Um, so I guess it was nice to have it for that, but I really didn't need to bring it. But this other one I just haven't worn. <laughs> it is the Lancôme L'Absolu Rouge lipstick in 198 Rouge Flamboyant. Very cool packaging. And this is a beautiful like orangey based red. I wore this heaps while I was over in like Europe and stuff, but I've just not reached for it this whole time. And that is all of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little sneaky peek into what I brought with me away for three weeks. So I'd say that I probably used about 85% of what I brought. And so it wasn't too bad. I didn't completely overpack. But I do know now for next time, even if I'm traveling for a couple of weeks, I could get away with just not packing one or two things. I guess you just sometimes don't know until you get there what you feel like, what the situations are like. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this kind of real girl beauty and lifestyle kind of content, then definitely subscribe. And if you want to interact with me throughout the week, definitely head over to my Instagram. It's just at Anna Elaine. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.